up guys welcome back to another video i am upgrading to 16 gigabytes of ram it's not like it's not focusing there we go 16 gigabytes of ram 2666 megahertz uh that's what the ram that i currently have in the pc is i got two i'm just gonna replace both hopefully it works i know how to install ram that's not the hard part i just want to make sure that it works correctly my friends built pcs before uh he knows a ton about all that stuff so he actually recommended this they weren't very expensive i believe i paid around 70 dollars i think 60 or 70 dollars to get these made sure that i got the correct megahertz but i'm excited the reason why i am upgrading the ram so when i'm using the computer i am usually editing gaming or uh recording videos or doing whatever sometimes when i'm gaming i'll be uploading a video at the same time and sometimes i'll run into like memory issues where my game might crash or something like that just because i'm using so much at the at that given point loading takes a lot plus gaming takes a lot and so i want to be able to run everything you know at the same time without running into any issues. Um, the good thing about this motherboard is that I don't have to worry about, you know, either putting it in the first and third or the second and fourth slot. It's just there's two slots and I'm just gonna put them both in there. Hopefully it works. I wanna make sure that, you know, it works 100%. I'm not gonna throw away the other RAM, obviously, um, but I wanna make sure that these work. Right, let's hop into this. I'm gonna end up um, taking my PC. So my PC is down there right now. It's on a little stand. Um, so I'm going to unplug everything, bring it up onto the desk, and I will show you guys how I'm going to install this RAM. I currently have the tempered glass on right now, so I have to take this off. There's two screws on each side, obviously, so you need to take those off. So what I'm going to do now is flip it so I can actually get a better angle. That's where the RAM is, right in there. So we're going to take this one out and we're going to put in the two new ones that we have. And we're going to open these up. Uh, this one's a little stuck. To take out the RAM, I have to open this one. So I got it out. It's actually uh, just one little clip. Um, I guess there aren't two. So just one little clip. I was pushing down on it and it wasn't ha it wasn't working. So yeah, but just one clip. So here is the old RAM a data. Uh, I've never even heard of it, uh, but it's 2666. So got the right kind of RAM. This RAM. And we're going to install it so I th so there's only one way to do this so I'm trying to get it in it's like So now I'm going to install this one. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that they're both installed correctly and I'll see you in a second. All right, what's up guys? So it is the next day. Um, so the RAM is installed. My computer obviously works fine. And so, so we're going to pull up the task manager really quick it opened over on this screen and performance so you can see right here there are 16 gigabytes of memory so yeah everything works great performance is great um, i would highly recommend this type of ram it basically was insert and everything was fine um only thing is so the clips that hold the RAM in, there's only one clip. And so 
it's weird because most most RAM slots have two. And so I was kind of like confused and like I ended up pushing it in and it didn't work. And yeah, and I didn't want to damage it, but basically I pushed really hard and you know, it, it ended up working. Um, but I, I ran into an issue where like my screen was black basically. And I wasn't sure what was going on after I pushed in the RAM and I called my friend. My friend told me like, hey, like, you know, do this, this and this. I basically like struck my whole PC down to its bare bones and then put it back together and it still wouldn't work. And then he was like, well, you know, I can come over tomorrow. I ended up basically just trying the RAM one more time. I pushed really hard. I actually heard two clicks this time and then computer booted up fine so it was clearly just I never pushed them in you know as much as I should but yeah so if you guys have any questions make sure to like comment subscribe push the bell button all that fun stuff comment down below if you have any questions for me if you're doing it for yourself or um, you just want like a little bit of input from me I'm not like a you know super tech savvy guy but I do know a little bit about PCs so yeah I will see you in the next video peace